Hello everybody and welcome to a two-player campaign occurred with me and uh, Susavile. Uh, we talked uh, yeah, way back on the hot seat uh, about making something together at, uh, at a later date and now we had the, the opportunity, both of us. So here I happily present my, my good friend uh, Susavile. So hello to you. Hello there guys. How's everything going? By the way, I'm just gonna take the advantage and introduce for my campaign as well. Yeah. Um, you guys can see me on the uh, on the webcam because I'm recording also with my webcam. Yeah. So basically, yeah, we talked about this for a long time actually. Yeah. Um, back on the on the hot seat where we we're doing with the Portuguese YouTubers. Yeah. And actually, that was really good that you went on, on the on the hot seat because they were lacking on on some YouTubers there. Um, it was a really big project that way. Yeah. Um, well, we always thought a thought on some co-op, and yeah. right now this idea of Mercia and Mysterious just sounds cool, actually. It's yeah. a good idea. So, um, um... We, yeah, we were thinking just. Uh, we're, by the way, you're gonna hear us interrupt ourselves a lot because of the delay on, on Steam. Sorry yeah. about that, guys. <laughs> Either one is gonna sound like it's interrupting the other. Um, Want to talk about the, the settings in Danish? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, the game mode is, is good, and turn time we've chosen uh, ten minutes. So we are not doing too much uh, in each turn, and we have set a battle time limit on sixty minutes because uh, some of the big siege battles can be a bit um, hard uh, if you got uh, multiple armies and want to get in uh, in, in into some city that is very well defended with with big towers mm -hmm. and walls and uh, yeah unit size ultra and uh, we have limited the, the ai player moves so that uh, you're not going to see everything that is happening in, in each turn um, so that it should go a little faster i think and uh, mm -hmm. yeah and what about the the faction you're going to play I'm going to go with the Kingdom of Mercia. We were yeah. actually discussing who would go with Mercia and Asturias. You said, okay, uh, with the Danes, I already have done with, uh, against Mercia, so you take it. And, well, Asturias, this seemed like, um, you know, it's going, it's in the mid, in the midst of two great empires, which will be the Emirate of Cordoba, if you're not careful, yeah. <laughs> if they do start <laughs> getting too much. Yeah, let's and see. you're still in the middle of Carloman. Yeah. No, I always left the, the, I think, always the easiest setting is actually to go on England uh, ever since medieval to even on Rome yeah. it was always the easier one but I'm I'm actually excited to see this one because it's not um, you know since it's total war Atal and it's even Ch age of Charlemagne it has some differences so I want to see how, uh, how it goes on this one yeah uh, we're going both on legendary yeah and of course play battle on, on the, <laughs> the default battle, battle resolution yeah um, Want to talk about Asturias? Danish. Um, yeah, um, actually, yeah. What what can we say? I can raise and abandon settlements uh, for once, and uh, we have a good chance of ambushing. And I don't know if I will use it. I'm not the big ambusher, to be honest. I don't use uh, ambush so much as I should. I think I used it much more uh, some years ago in some other Total War games, but. I tend to avoid it these days, so maybe I should pick up my good old ambush um, habit and, and try to get that working again. Let's see uh, about it. But but that's that's yeah, that's, that's, that's I have never get, been playing. Get an before. army of yeah. yeah. Get an army of only skirmishers and just leave it for for them to ambush. And yeah. then whatever they do, they'll just get casualties. <laughs> it's just you're gonna lose it. Doesn't matter. It's a, it's a cheap army. Yeah. You know, just an idea. Just to have fun. Yeah. Um, I didn't mention that way. Uh, I do have extra income for every enemy unit destroyed. Yeah. So I'm going to try to pursue those guys. Um, and Emancipators doubled unit replenishment when taking on defeated troops post battle. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's two. Yeah, that's two. Uh, we, all, we all have bonuses strictly for battles, which yeah. is kind of cool. It is going to force us to, to do uh, some battles. Um, it's going to depend on what the objectives are. I have no idea actually what the objectives are. It's one thing that doesn't show here. But usually you have that, that button to click yeah. where it shows you the what the objectives are. I think it's just Imperium level on yeah. Age of Charlemagne. Yeah. I don't know if it's 
that's right. It's uh, it's a bit different here than than uh, in in uh, the other campaigns. In in uh, yeah. So yeah, we will see uh, who we are going to 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 do something to. Yeah, but should we just start the campaign and see? Yeah, yeah. We're going right in. Yeah. What will happen? One. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Probably, I, I don't know if I start or you start. No. I have no idea on that. I think you will, but it's a good question. I'm a bit in doubt because you were at the left. Yeah, since I, I'm hosting, I usually decide to host basically on. Uh, there have been the, many yeah, on most kings games, I have a, uh, before I, you. I think I have a good connection, actually. I think. Yep. I don't know. Many Sometimes names. it goes away in a, at many unexpected titles. times. Yeah. Should we skip uh, the so the far. intro? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. probably skip. It. Let's skip that. Um, I don't know if it happened. Does it happen on co-op? It, it didn't on Room Two, or did it? I can't remember. Yeah, good question. Um, can't remember on that. <laughs> I can't remember right now, to be honest. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, it, it gets the. Um, the introduction but it's the same for everything yeah. yeah yeah it's the same i'm skipping it right so it's your turn it's actually you my start. turn i thought it, it might have been your uh yeah but i also starting with astoria starting with an a so maybe it's alphabetically <laughs> i don't know but uh, uh, probably probably could it right, be that so yeah so i'm just looking a bit around oh, i got an army here a very we small one battle. good and we've got yeah, I'm just checking out down the strategic there. overview. Yeah, who is where? Okay, I could of course start to um, just at such a lot of kingdoms there are in in uh, such a lot of kingdoms in uh, in England is <laughs> and Ireland. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Welcome, worthy friend. Yeah. Actually, let us break bread yeah. and trade. Oh, you want to trade a bit? Yeah, I would like to trade. And uh, what about a marriage? No, maybe I should save a marriage for a more aggressive state that I want to control. Maybe that would be probably. better. Probably. Yeah, probably. We are yeah, um, we're ready with. Um, maybe Charlemagne in the start lines. to to get them off my chest, mm -hmm. uh, so that I'm not. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, just give away one of your daughters. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you very much. Lord. Praise the Lord. And uh, yeah, I would just have a look at the Kingdom of Chalaman. How do they. They are neutral, 15. It could be much worse. And they would probably end up fighting a lot of different other factions in a short time. They're fighting Angu, yeah, they're fighting. The Duchy of Aquitaine, yep. Westphalia, and yeah, the Duchy of Gascogne. Well, 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 well. You have a lot of desolate settlements. So but probably God early game, uh, it's going to be, for, for you, it's probably going to get those early settlements on. Yeah. Um, it, it, yeah, you have a lot of desolate ones. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this the thing that uh, the Kingdom of Charlemagne, they actually want to trade very much so maybe if I start trading with them, I might very fast get at war with the Doshi of uh, Gascony because they are fighting them. Uh, t yeah, tell me one thing: which yeah. are the the uh, the factions that you have good relations with? Uh, Just because I'll try to get uh, stuff. Uh, I'm actually checking out. Yeah, let me see. Um, yeah, I'm with attitude. As the Kingdom of Charlemagne uh, is one of the only one I can see at the moment. That, uh, but I had to click myself here. Yeah, no, yeah. N nothing is green, really. <laughs> nothing is green. It's, it looks like uh, the Kingdom of Northumbria is uh, neutral to me. They're kind of okay. And I think mm -hmm. if Kingdom you can get a trade. Yeah. with them then i'll probably get trade as well yeah i think i can so it was a very Greetings good idea to, to uh, i trust you yeah. come with honorable they words like that it. i can since do we are kindly. two probably cool they since would also like two, a non-aggression bank on that yeah definitely so awesome. if i get a non-aggression awesome. and uh, maybe they will even 
pay me a little. So let's see. Uh, yeah, they will. I'm not going to rip them from... I could make them pay quite a lot, I think. They want to pay extremely <laughs> much. But it's, it's not always a good idea if you want them as, as your partner uh, to, you know, take everything they have and then they cannot build up the armies that you... It might be good for you to have them as a buffer against the kingdom of El Clot or the kingdom of the Picts if they yeah. start to get... Quite true. I'm actually I'm actually thinking on going first to the wars because I start with wars, actually. Yeah. Now that I notice. So I will I not start, demand too much. I do have a client. Yeah, I don't have a client. Who's that? Uh, uh, I have the Kingdom of Kent. It's actually my ally. Ah, or my client state. It's I see. Nice to so know. So it's good. Uh, yeah. So it's good. Probably going to try to control over this area. Yeah. You know, just probably try to control this area. And yep. so anything that is over here. Don't, don't bother getting trade treaties because they're yeah. just going to... But I would just take a them. look at the Kingdom of Kent. Yeah, they have, it's improving very much here. So let me see if they My would friend, like uh, not aggression we pact. Welcome. Yeah, they will. And, the blessings of Christ, the savior to and you. military access as well. So that is done. No, they reject. That was a bit weird. Okay, not aggression. Then, like that. Accept it, the non aggression. Let me see the... They don't want a defensive. No. And do they now want the military access stuff? No, they don't. But that's fine. Not aggression with the Kingdom of Kent. So that's a good thing if you, they are your ally. But um, mm -hmm. then we've got, yeah, we've got some interesting, interesting things. Can you get ambushes? My there. friend. Yeah. I'm checking we out. We welcome. Yeah. The that's good. You get spearmen with with uh, javelins. Oh. That works out so bad. Yep. So the Doshi of Aquitaine, mm -hmm. it's improving. Yeah. So it, the the good thing should I start to try to make peace with with Charlemagne, or should I immediately start to to go with the enemies? Um, I, I would. I would say I would say avoid enemies since you have desolate areas. You know, your yeah. province, Leon. Yeah. can become a cool province because it has iron yeah if you get these two yeah like very early game i would i would concentrate on getting these yeah but so um I, I was thinking you don't have a war right no i don't have one but i i was just thinking of, uh, thinking of uh, if i get at war with uh, the emirate of cordoba i don't want uh Charlemagne to go down and and get uh, miss you here Impressive. also yeah uh, because that would really been bad and i have some bad experiences with some major factions attacking me uh, <coughs> at the same time so that i'm a little bit scared because i've tried something else in another campaign so i thought maybe i should or should i start to you know make make acquaintance with um, the the kingdom of Charlemagne or the Doshi of Aquitaine or should i i could also leave it a little and see what the development will be maybe i should just leave it and, and yeah let me see what i can do if yeah. i improve the relations then yeah. you can go on that yeah spot, we can we can go on well. is is there somebody else you want to uh, the kingdom of kent now i got a non-aggression the the northumbria i got trade is there some somebody else uh, the kingdom of uh, the kingdom of pau do you want to establish some relations with them no, they do not like you too much. The, the kingdom of there, there's a couple of kingdoms that don't like me at all. Yeah. Here. What about the um, anything that's on the other side? You know, anything that's on England, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah. Uh, the rest of them, I just want to be friends. You know, Charlemagne included. Yeah. So. For now, of course. Yeah, for Later now. On, yeah, so. for now, of course. <laughs> yeah, I don't think then I, I will not do too much in diplomacy. I normally would have done more, I think, but I think I will keep it a little low here, also to see what you are going to mm -hmm. do uh, in England and Ireland before I do too much, and then we can always uh, concentrate on some of the same. Because the Kingdom of Wessex yeah. what is does, uh, uh, neutral. What does Cordoba want? 
Does it want to stay neutral or? They look angry. Like <laughs> they don't like oh. me too much. They are unfriendly, minus 31. So it's a good question. And they are fighting uh, the Taifa of Toledo. Mm. Oh, that's good for you. Okay. I could. The door is open to you. Yeah, but if they you don't wish to go trade, beyond the courtyard want... within. Speak. They want a non-aggression the Kingdom of Cordoba. Maybe it could be a good thing here in the start. Go for it. Yeah, to yeah, go for it. To to get that. And I just want to see something else. Yeah. If they wanted to trade, no, they don't. And military access, I don't guess. But they actually want that to That may bot buy the time the time to get uh, desolate. Yeah. Let me see here. They, yeah, they paid me a little My to get a non-aggression. So I think that's set. good. Cool. And uh, out of diplomacy, now we did this, so I'm using my time. Uh, yeah, and then we got this agent here. Heaven Let me praised. send you there. And silent. then we need that army now to battle. perhaps go there on forced. Yeah. Uh, like this. To see how expensive Lyon will be for us, it's a good question. And um, let me just see here my faction. We got my King Aurelio here, and I just need to see any household. No, um, right, you Bernardo, he cannot do anything at the moment. Has he got? Alec. I like the name of your spy, Ramiro. Yeah, Ramiro. He's really a Spanish spy. Yeah. yeah. And Spanish, that is a hard language yeah. for me. My daughter is having it uh, at school right now. She's starting, she has started to learn it. So, uh, but uh, I yeah. speak uh, both Spanish and, and Portuguese. Oh, well. nice. Spanish is about one of the easiest um, Latin languages to learn. Yeah, I see. Very few sounds, very few sounds. and. Uh, uh, even the grammar rules, you know, like English has ridiculous grammar rules. Like yeah. Everyone jokes about, you know, some some words that have exact the same the same thing. You know, yeah. Like tough, through, that com one letter completely changes changes everything in the sound. Yeah. And Spain Spanish doesn't really have that. It has a good standard grammar. Yeah. So it it helps actually. Yeah. Interesting. Um... I can only have one problem. We, we, all, we, we all have a lot of issues with the, the public order. Yeah. We have a, a little bit of bad times of that. Yeah. And that is probably the minus eight, minus eight thing from. But I'm mm -hmm. putting some. A gov uh, yeah, one governor and I'm uh, putting some on officially, official uh, posts on some offices that will help public order the two highest officers. I think that will help a little. I also need to have the technology replenishment 3%. That's the public order two from bureaucratic reforms, the king's decrees. I think I'll go with civil to have plus two public order things. Yeah, there will be yeah. something there and probably, the probably here at my capital, I will need to see that edict tax rate tax rate food production food is fine that's always something and then i need um to raise as he's a scholar okay leader authority banado mm, yeah. good let me go with him so i can raise a small raise a small army here as well in oviedo uh, Oviedo. How would you say that in Spanish? Oviedo. Oviedo. Okay. It's a, just a small change. Uh, the V turns into we the hunger v for most battle. of the times. Oviedo. Oviedo. Kind of like that. Yeah. Ooh, 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 that's hard for a day in. <laughs> that's <laughs> hard for a day in that one. Okay. Uh, let me see. We need to have. We need started. good fighters. Soldiering. Yeah, I think it's a good life. Like that, good. And just need to see. Uh, do we have any cheap merchants that could be? Ooh, they are not cheap. 
Oh, by the way, that's my my city. That's where I live. Yeah. And actually, it's really bad place on the on the on the map. Yeah, uh, I could. That's actually still wrong. Uh, could, would Lisbon you show it to me here. again? I, I see. Yeah, here uh, we are. <laughs> Lisbon should be here yeah. <laughs> instead of there. Yeah, but you're not living in the same city as uh, Oibu, are you? I know he's not living in in. Uh, he's living on the. Don't know. The coast. I think he was living on. Yeah, on the coast, either something like here, I believe. I think. Yeah, it's the up north. there. I see. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. So I think I sorted most stuff, and uh, I'm in my turn here. So over to you. Yep. Nice. Okay, trait gained. I'm influential. I get some. That's great. Check that I really have a problem with public order. Yep. But I want to check if there are any armies here. I actually want to check. I, I love this too. I don't know why it, does, it, it doesn't exist on uh, for YouTube. You know. It actually just helps so much when I want to, to state something, you know, ju I just have to draw something, yep. like here. Yep. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that probably I'll be going something like on this direction, I'm going to conquer this yep. first, because yep. it has a small army, but I need to check if there are any yep. armies. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I do have... The biggest problem is that I have both of them as my enemies. Let me check on the... On the diplomacy uh, stuff. Yeah. Okay, Duke of Aquitaine. You didn't talk to them, right? No, I did not. Oh. I thought about it, but I skipped the idea not to go into the conflict between them and Charlemagne uh, uh, too early. But uh, they are fighting Charlemagne as far as. Yeah, aren't they? Okay. The oh, Emirate of Cord Cordoba demands 200 in payment. I'm, I'm going to take it because it helps you. Yeah. You know, Thank you very much. It yeah. would help uh, a lot. It's very uh, really appreciated. Uh, yeah, it just it helps out a lot, actually. Um, Charlie, Charlemagne is actually quite cool to me. Yeah. I think they want to even trade. No, they still don't want to trade. But maybe they want a non aggression pact. Yeah, hi. Oh, That's good. Nice. I'm actually going to take it on their terms. Yep. So maybe they will want to trade now. They don't. Probably they're, they're going to accept it or they're going to propose it next time. Yep. North Sumri, you said. Oh, they want to be non aggression. Yep. And trade. Perfect. So North Sumri is quite cool with us for now. Yep. Now, these guys are annoying. The, the guys on Ireland are annoyed to me, actually. Everyone is, is on the red. Yeah, they might easily attack the Irish factions uh, when they feel they have a good opportunity. You never know. Uh, they mm -hmm. are fierce warriors over there. So uh, I have a little trouble in my Danes campaign at the moment. Where I'm going to cheat down Patrick yep. some things <laughs> now <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, in my next episode. I'm yeah, I'm trying to get any non-aggression packs with them, and they're just going to re yep. uh, refuse them. Um, for now, let me see if I can get trade with or non-aggression packs. I can get non-aggression packs with both Duki of Aquitaine and Gascony. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to demand a payment. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to go for it. Yeah, so I got my money back from it what I gave Cordoba. <laughs> yeah, always nice to have a balance there. If, yeah. If it's possible. Just to, you know, disencourage them to get... Um, let's, let's demand a payment. It's cool. They still will pay me. That's cool. So, both the Dukies and even Carlo Charlemagne are, you know, non-aggressive to me at least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And even Cordoba. So I didn't get a lot of trade going, but um, still, it helps. Yep. It seems like all that I'm going to have to bother at least is on the north. Really. Yep. Alright, so this guy, I want him to spot a little bit for me. My my priest. Come on. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There's the wild beasts here. Yeah. <laughs> With a general with a name that's called Brochpal, yeah. something like yeah. that. 
strange new but I can actually attack him. I don't know if I should attack. Yeah. Um they probably would go back away. If I only could see what they have. I don't wanna go too deep there. Because I wanted to use this guy deploy in order to inspire the populace. Yeah. They can do a good job. Alright. Yeah, I certainly need an uh, a force here on Chester, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. Yeah. Pepatron, that's for governor. Defendant, supplies. And I try to just kind of checking for the guys that have stuff that I want. Uh, this is a defender. Let's raise an army with this guy. Chester. What can I recruit? Hey, I get a lot of stuff to recruit. I have some field spearmen, field axemen. Archers, slingers. What's the range on those? <laughs> Doesn't say the range, really. Uh huh. Slingers appear to be better. Yeah. Better rate of fire. More missile damage and more ammunition. Yeah. Of course, they don't have heavy shot or whatever. Yeah, so or fire, fire for for towers. So it de it depends on on if you use that a lot. For for the wooden towers. Usually Usually I don't, no, actually. No. Um, but they are annoying. They do are annoying, uh, <laughs> you know, to deal with. Yeah. Um, I guess in the early game, I'm going to go just with uh, basic stuff. Uh, what, what does Chester have in terms of garrison? So that, yeah, it has one archer and two feared spearmen. So I think I'm going to get just some slingers, maybe a horse, maybe a horseman. Yeah, horseman is kind of expensive right now. Yeah. Yeah, but I still, I still need it. At least with the garrison. How many units can I record? Four, two, three only. Yeah, at least with that. Well, can get another field spearman. Let's get rid of an axeman. I don't know. I should have some mercenaries. I have four units. I can actually get them to try and get the wall beast. Right now, I can't even move over there. Let's inspire this populace. I don't know, I think what I'm gonna build is something that will allow me public order. I need a chapel. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first thing. You get some trade down here. Market. I don't know. Probably I'm gonna recruit some um, some other forces. I don't know what they have. So I'm afraid if I recruit a lot of mercenaries, that they will flee. If they do, I wouldn't like it, because maybe maybe the fo I could finish this off really early. That would be yeah. What do I have here? I have three spearmen, two archers, a horseman, and some things. Now if I hire some mercenaries, it would certainly be... Well, these guys are inexpensive. Yeah, except the English swordsman quite inexpensive. Yeah. I can still support these guys. I still can recruit the fangs if I want to. Right, I just got some mercenaries. It shouldn't hinder my income too much. Now let's see if we can attack this guy. Yeah. The wild beast. They wanna fight it. They wanna fight it. Alright. So what do they have? They have armored spearmen, some three levy spearmen two Welsh archers mm -hmm. and two horsemen units. So that's four infantry, two archers, two, two cavalry units. Yeah. Have the same two cavalry units. So I have extra archers power. Extra, extra archer power. That's cool. Yeah. Probably what I'm going to do is give you at least one of the cavalry units, the mercenary. Yeah. The uh, English horseman. Yeah. Uh, to do something like that. Let's fight it out. Yeah. Nice. First battle. The, First the one battle. thing that I want is just to, yeah, I just want to get this um, this uh, battle in the best way possible. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The, um, the the less casualties that I get here, the more I can finish off both of the the early war. Yeah. I think one thing that actually changed from previous titles. I don't know if you if you played all the other Total War uh, titles. I did, 
uh, I did play actually I'm an old man and uh, <laughs> I played since uh, the very first as a uh, Shogun Turtle War. Shogun? Yeah, so yeah, I've been I from... I did it as well. <laughs> yeah, I think Ivy, he also did that. So we are some of the veterans uh, from 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 uh, the good old days where where everything started mm -hmm. with Turtle War. It's cool, I think. It's cool, okay. Yeah, so... Right, uh, since you can return... Con yeah, uh, just going to give you this unit. Yeah, thank you. For now. No. Uh, the purpose with that would be just to get their um, their units out, their uh, their uh, arches out. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that my own arches can deal more damage than the knights. Yeah. So would you like me to try to to scale their arches and perhaps lure their horsemen into our own spears? Should I try that? Probably. See, probably. See if I could. Probably. Do you something uh, like that? I'm thinking since I have more archers, yep. I'm gonna go head on, you know, just try to abuse my, my number of archers. Yep. Um, they are also in, in of course in um, in loose formation. So if he strikes me down, the good thing is that he doesn't have anything that goes like these things. You know, so he doesn't have any heavy melee infantry. I have two with my yep. with my general there, so that's fine. Yep. Um, okay. right now uh, can you go through like this area? Uh, do I have the controls? Yeah, something like here, you know, just envelop them. Yep. You know, or try to go directly, but um, then back away as soon as you're yep. you're having uh, this troubles. Oh, yep. I would try uh, to see one of right. these two things if I mm -hmm. could do uh, mm -hmm. do something like just that. Just probably harass them a yep. little bit. Me. Really love these controls, actually. Yeah. Attila just improves so much on that regard. Yeah. Forward! It's good to have a controlled uh, cavalry that you know that's not the AI that's going to send it you know, to their deaths. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how their well chargers are compared to my own. But come on, we're we're from the same island. I would imagine that they at least mine attack with them. They are on a hill, so they might get a little bit. Quickly now! Advance at speed! Are they moving in? Yeah, they're moving in. Ah! Yeah, they are reforming. Sorry, or... my cat. Yeah, my cat is actually going here on the lamp. <laughs> I could. Riders, forward! That's good. That's actually enough because they are now trying to attack you, and I can get some shots off. Quickly now! Careful there. Yeah, he's covering me. Forward! Forward! But my archers are now attacking. Advance! At yeah, that's speed. Good. Since my archers are going in on them, it's perfect. Riders, advance! Quickly now! And they're having the one archer yeah, here unit we go. ready for something. They're sending the Levy Spearmen there, which means that I'm going to send my Thames over them. Yeah. Just push them back over here. I'm trying to lure them, lure them down here. Mm -hmm. But it's both Levy Spearmen and some Armored Spearmen. They might be a little bit tough, those. But maybe we can sandwich them. Uh, do, yeah. Just need to be careful with the horsemen. Uh. Yeah. I think I might even engage these well charges with my own horsemen. Maybe you could, yeah. Right now I'm gonna put these guys... Uh, you could of course also give uh, the, the horse formation uh, fire from your um, archers. It will hit them quite hard. Yeah, my archers right now, they're trying to move out of there. I don't know if the horsemen can be actually charged here. Doing now they're coming, yeah. He's gonna charge on mine. Yeah. yeah but it doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't cause too many casualties on that. 
My ca my cavalry is actually sort of badly engaging. Yeah. Raiders, advance! Actually, having Forward. some questions about this. Um, Raiders, How is it going with the horsemen? It's going There's fine for you, isn't it? They are trying to take out our general. Who's attacking you? Yep. Oh, I, I told them to engage there. Good. Their horsemen is are gone. Yeah. Actually. I'm actually engaged with these guys. I'm just fooling around to try to annoy them a bit. Oh, right now my archers are attacking his own general. And I can go after the Welsh archers as well as your, your cavalry. Yep. I'm yeah. trying to so keep well. his archers from, uh, from shooting at you at all. I think that is... Yeah. My cavalry is going to jump in on there. Right, his general is actually striking here. Okay, should I he's come and support you uh, there? No, 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 go after the archers. Yep. That's actually, you know, I'm causing their cavalry to go through my my own uh, spearmen. So now we're in the Yep. Oh, that was not good. My general is having some problems against this armed spearmen. Okay, spearman. yeah, I thought they... Levy, well, their levy spearmen are dying, but my cavalry is going to attack these armored spearmen on their yeah. backs. Hopefully my general won't get killed. Yeah, hopefully. It's not as big a uh, disadvantage yeah. as, as in in, uh, in Attila, but... Uh, I'm dealing with... Who's that? Mm-hmm. I'm dealing with the archers, so they're not. Dirt! Our men have rallied! Right, their armored spearmen are shaken because of all this pressure from the cavalry, which is perfect. And now I will see if I could actually. If you could send something, because I engaged uh, their general now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have. Yeah. yeah. Sending them over. Yeah, it would be great if the general would help out. I think we can easily then. Um, take him out. Yeah, I controlled the other, the other place as well. So I'm sending my cavalry to you. Yeah, awesome. If it's... Yeah, now we broke. And also my spearman. Perfect. And I will chase. Uh, I will chase the general. It's good that now it allows us to pursue a little bit. Yeah. It used to not. That was a good work on those on those options. I completely forgot about them because I realized, yeah, he's gonna own them yeah. easily. That two initial spearmen going for us was just awesome. Yeah. He didn't have a line. Alright, right now I really need to get these Welsh arches. So is his general still alive? Wachfell. Uh, One unit left is is it probably. is it really him? Sometimes you probably. don't get the sometimes you don't get the message that your general died, uh, and some usually you do, but sometimes. Uh, Raiders, there's a yeah, Chris is right now he didn't. If that was the the general. It yeah, didn't but say. yeah, but there there's yeah everybody is. You know what does it say? Maybe For now I think they did. Yeah, maybe. That's maybe me. he. The good thing is that uh, since you ended up that unit, I get X-ray. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know how Riders, it works forward. in the mechanics. Ah, strange. Range. Okay, he had one. I think he escaped with one unit. I think the general escaped, forward. and that was a bit weird. But uh, well, maybe he was. Well, made. it's still a victory. Yeah, definitely. Quite good victory. Yeah, fun. Uh, especially the thing uh, I gave you just the the mercenary cavalry, so you could, you know, spend it yep. with no problem. And I didn't even lose the fans. No, <laughs> I thought I could have lost them. Yeah. Okay, the general died. That's good. Good. The whole unit is lost. Nice. And he only had like two Welsh archers and the spearmen that survived. I see. So I'm gonna take on the warriors. Eight percent replenishment. Yeah, not bad. 
Yeah, if I wish I had movement because I would finish them all yeah. right yeah, away and get be... the, the garrison from them. Yeah. Yeah, but still, right now I feel like I have enough of an advantage, advantage there. Now, I do have... Oh, upkeep costs. I I'm going to change my household. That's something that I didn't notice. Ooh. Oh. I have uh, an apro, you know, from the household items from your general. Yeah. One of them, public order plus 10 from military oh. presence. Oh. Why didn't I stay home? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't I stay home? Yeah. But, uh, you know, um, okay, I'll... Could come in handy later. Yeah, I'll start. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot. Uh, one of the good things, I already let, raised the level, so unit experience needed. So when I get the next recruits, they will have some experience. Oh, yeah, nice. Hey, I can actually get mercenary units. Celtic, Welsh archers, and mercenary Welsh armored spearmen. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. They're, they're quite expensive, so maybe I'll, you know, I'll recruit them on the next, um, on the next uh, turn. Probably. Yeah, I think that's the best yep. uh, situation. Right, I'm not going to do too many changes. Why? Um, should we cut short the, the video? We actually didn't decide uh, how much would be a duration. You want one yeah. hour videos? Uh, yeah. No, less than that. Yeah, that's <laughs> All right. that's, that's Let's, fine. Uh, so uh, maybe we right. are getting to uh, yep. a, a good place here. Yep. So for now, uh, on <laughs> for, for my viewers and on my channel, guys, thank you guys for watching. That would be the beginning of this co-op campaign. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to check out Danish uh, channel if you don't know him already. Just come on, like and subscribe. He's a good cool. He's a good cool dude. <laughs> Sorry, I was, say, I was about to say good guy and <laughs> uh, no, a good dude and a cool <laughs> dude. And what it uh, ended up saying was good cool. So you're good cool right now. <laughs> I try to be cool. Um, I try to yeah, be guys. good. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> That's always cool. <laughs> yeah, guys. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Yeah. So uh, see you, everybody. And uh, for my own uh, subscribers, viewers, please don't. Please go and, and check out uh, Susan Weil's uh, awesome channel. He has a lot of different interesting campaigns uh, from different Total War games and also other games. And uh, nice person. And you're definitely cool, I think. So, <laughs> And you even got the face camera. <laughs> you got the face camera, <laughs> which I haven't got yet. I think I will frighten I people too much. You got cats. I also got cats. And that's, that's always a good thing. I think uh, when people like animals... <laughs> It's it's uh, yeah, saying something got, about them. You gotta check. You, you gotta show off your cats. Yeah. Right? You gotta show off your <laughs> yeah. cats. That that's not cool. <laughs> you gotta show off your cats. Yeah. All right, everyone. See ya. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Bye.